house or the majority of the house. Right now, two thirds of our people, you know, are, are worse off than the ass and the ox. Because at least the ass and the ox know his master, you know? Like I said, they know where their bread is being buttered. They know who feeds them, provides for them. But here you Jake, man, y'all turn into white Jesus. Y'all turn into Allah, y'all turn into Buddha, and all these other things, giving up your strength unto these idols. When it was Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah who fed you. Yeah, there, there it is. There it is right there. So, right, the most high, you know, just like uh, Jeremiah 5 and 7, the most high is asking, how shall I pardon thee for this? Mm. When I have fed thee to the poor, they then went and committed uh, fornication, yeah. pardons, and assembled themselves by troops in the holy house. Yeah, God, brother. Yeah, so, uh, right, uh, yeah, I'll do the scriptures, man. I'll do the scriptures, you brothers. Hear about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah saying, you know, I am Yahweh thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. The most I had to remind us over and over and over. He's the one that brought us out and protected us and provided for us. So that we wouldn't go over to the land of Canaan and start worshiping Molech. Right. Start worshiping Dagon. Right. Start worshiping uh, Kamash and whatever else other false god that those Canaanites will worship. Right, right, right. Baal, Peor. Oh, yeah, yeah Baal, Peor, uh, Baal, Berith. Yep. All these different false gods. Oh, God. Yeah, because uh, as we had read earlier in uh, John the sixth chapter, hey, we had manna coming from heaven. Now that manna was talking about in the physical sense, uh, 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 nutrition, okay? However, it was also talking about in a spiritual sense. Because we had Yahweh Shemai was shot. We had we had the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we were as a people. You know? So so yeah, that's that's the same nourishment that we're feeding the elect with right now. Through the spirit. That same bread of life, that same rivers of living water, that same honey, that same wine, you know, that same meat, you know? Because these are the things that actually bring our people back to life, you know, oh. as, as it's spoken of in Ezekiel 37 chapter, you know, can, can these dry bones live? Yes, they can. Through what? Nourishing. So I'm going to bring out that word here, uh, nourishing for, uh, or nourished uh, for uh, Isaiah, the first chapter, and uh, I think it's the third verse. It might be the I, I second. Reread. Okay, the water. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought thee up. Uh, oh, I have nursed and brought up children, mm -hmm. and they have rebelled against me. Right, right. And those children are the children of Israel, right. just like we had talked about earlier. Oh, shit, it looks like it stopped. Just like we had talked about earlier, it's not you other heathen nations, okay? You other heathen nations uh, don't don't have any, any uh, abiding in this truth, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to bring this out of the hell with that technology. This is uh, H. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if I can restart it. Uh, this is H. Yeah, the whole thing looked like it locked up the phone and shit. It probably got too high. This is H. Uh, fourteen thirty one. The word here is gadol. Okay, for nourish. It says. To to make uh, to be large in various senses it says as in body, mind, estate, or honor. It says advance, bring up, exceed, excel. It says to make great, grow up, increase, uh, lift up, magnify, um, to promote. It says uh, to nourish. So, so yeah, when 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 you nourish something, you you are giving it life. You 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 are making it better. You are promoting it. Okay, and 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 that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. That is what he did then. That is what he's doing now. The same thing in 
which a, a, a father or a shepherd does for his sheep. That, that's what, that's what Yahweh Shimei is doing for his children, okay? And those children only being the children of Israel, okay? That's right. It should be back hey, on. brother, you are. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah, it should be back. So, so yeah, that, that was that, that point right there for the word nourish. Because everything we've been talking about is preparing a meal, a feast. Because ultimately, uh, uh, I think that's Luke, the 12th chapter, uh, where it talks about how uh, Yahweh Shimei Aushah is preparing the ultimate wedding feast. Okay? So, you need a garment, you need knowledge, you need to be fed with that understanding, you know? Or as scripture said, uh, eat, eat thou what is sufficient for thee, least thou vomit it up. You know? Right now we're giving, you know, uh, uh, morsels of, of knowledge. We, 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 we're giving uh, uh, shots of water, you know? <laughs> because, because these are the things that awaken our people to the spirit of truth. Yeah, it should be running now. So you need some juice. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Not right now. Uh, get Matthew 22 and 14. Okay, good. Yep, yep. That's that's one of them. All right, uh. All right, I'm gonna start it. This is uh. All right, this is uh Matthew chapter 22 verse 8. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready, right. but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Right, so, so that's what we're doing right now, man. We're lifting up the voice, you know, freely you have given, <laughs> freely you have received, freely you give. That's how we bid to the marriage, through this truth. Go ahead. Yeah. Verse 10, so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, Gone. both bad and good. Right. And the wedding was furnished with guests. Right, yeah. And because, yeah. So like, because, because two thirds of our people, man, they're not gonna get this truth because it's not talking about all the rest of these other heathen nations, okay? And, and it's talking about those that, that came into the truth, that they had uh, uh, some type of understanding, and, and those that came in at the last hour, you know? Yeah, come on, verse 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Right, yeah, he didn't have any of this truth, you know? Our people out here walking naked, man, you know? That, that same naked state of mind having no covering, no protection, being hungry, being thirsty, okay? Not, not having a morsel of meat to eat, okay? Because all that you've been filled with are lies, wickedness, and perverseness of the so-called white man, these idols, Caesar Borgia, and none of those things can profit you. Go ahead. Mm. I got to start up, brother. Okay, all right. Well, I got to start up. So lock your and, and, and before you do that, I want to make a quick correction. I said Luke, the 12th chapter is Luke, the 14th chapter. That, that's a precept to uh, Matthew 22. Hey, all right. I'm going to start at the top. So this is Matthew chapter 22, verse 1. And Yahweh shall answer and spake unto them again by parables mm -hmm. and said, The kingdom of heaven is likened to a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidding to the wedding. Right. And they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants saying, tell them which are bidden, behold, I have prepared thy dinner mm. of my dinner. Mm -hmm. My oxen yep. and my fatlings are killed. Yep. And all things are ready coming to the marriage. Mm -hmm. But they made light of it. Yep. And went their ways, one to his form. Oh, well, I was going to say, real quick. That, that's those two-third ignorant, stubborn people, okay, that feel like they have more to, to lose here in this world than to come into this truth, you know? Just wanted to yeah. add that for clarification. Oh. 
Again, verse 5. But they made light of it. Right. And went their ways. One to his farm. Right. Another to his merchandise. Mm -hmm. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. God. Yeah, so going to what the brother was saying, man, people value what they have going on in this world more than the kingdom that's to come. So they may, just like us being out here on the highways and byways, these two-third Jakes, two-third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they make light, this is a light thing into this. They make fun of us being out here. They talk about, you know, us wearing dresses and looking like bums. Right. But at the end, when it's all said and done, the servant said, yeah, how about Shimmy, I was going to have the last laugh. That's right. So we don't mind if you laugh. Go ahead and make, make light of this. When, when, when uh, Jacob's trouble hit the fan, That's right. you know, all bets are going to be off. God. There ain't going to be no laughing in that day. I no, it will not. It, well, well, it, it, well not, not to correct you, but just yeah. to add, it's going to be laughing by the elect and by your how about shoot me out with shot. That's right. That's who's going to be doing the laughing. You That's know? right. Hey, hey, you are the heathen nations, man. Two-thirds of our people. Hey, listen, you ain't going to be laughing, but the elect are going to be laughing because we've been out here on the highways and byways telling you this truth, and now when Jacob's trouble comes, you ain't going to have no defense. You ain't going to have no wedding garment. You ain't going to have no covering. Okay? <laughs> Read verse six again. And and the remnant took his servants, right, and entreated them spitefully and slew them. Mm. Same with that's what go on with the men of Great Millstone, and those who teach according to the doctrine that the apostles put forth through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shah. You know, they entreat us spitefully, man. Right. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You know, as Scripture says, man, they they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. You know. What, what we out here doing, man, we, we, we are chastising, we, we are spoiling, okay, these people's day, you know? I always make light and reference to it, but that's what we doing through the spirit of power, y'all, by Shemiah Shah. you know? We're speaking harshly to these people, man, you know? As scripture says, rebuke them harshly, man. You know, that's a commandment. So, so yeah, we, we're not out here to, uh, to play with people. Oh, and oh. part of that is they're supposed to hate us and we're supposed to hate them, you know? Because cause we out here doing the work of the Lord, they out here doing the work of Esau the devil. And you got you got guys out there who know that they're Hebrew Israelites, but out, you know, out there entreating the prophets, the men of the Lord, spike, you know, with, with spite. Right. You know, and treating them spitefully. You know, trying to destroy brothers' businesses, trying to get brothers fired. You know, all manner of, of just evil and wickedness from so-called Israelites. Yeah. You understand? So, right, if, if we don't fulfill this prophecy, who does? And then you got just like, you know, brothers been saying, we, we say it also, man, things are going to escalate into a carnal nature. Yep. They're going to be trying to slay us, man. They're going to be trying to slay the prophets. Done. Trying to lay hands on us. Right. Lack us up, man. So all that's coming. So, you know, we have to stay rooted firmly on the foundation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Can I bring out this quick precept? Because because you had touched on it. I don't know if it's in the scripture that, that you had read. You, you were talking about how uh, uh, basically to, to, to return unto the Lord. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly how you said it. Maybe, maybe this precept uh, jarring. This is Psalms, chapter 40. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 16. It says, Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. Verse 17. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tearing on my power. So, so yeah, like, I, I don't know if that's, that's the one I was looking for. It's another scripture that says, make no tearing to turn unto you. How about Shimei Oshad? So, so essentially, that, that was the point I was trying to convey from what the brother was talking about. Because, because we out here, like, like you shouldn't be wasting time, you know? Yeah. Like, like, hey, 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 now is, is, is now a high time to awaken out of sleep, you know? So, so yeah, they, the prophets have been out here, man. 
And as the brother I said uh, as well, listen, it's going to come a time very soon where the prophets ain't going to be out here no more. That's right. You know, it's going to be a famine of the word, man. You know, it's going to look. It's gonna be a famine of food, which is a famine of the word, you know? So, so yeah, hey, you know, hey, 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 uh, yeah, make, if, if I find it, I'll bring it, bring it out, but yeah, scripture says make no tarrying, uh, uh, or uh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm incorrect here, to, to turn to the Lord. You know, if any of the Akim listening, if you know where it is, you can bring it out, you know, and Lord willing, we'll, we'll, we'll find it. But yeah, that, that was all I had. I, Maybe this is it. Yeah, all right. This is back in Matthew chapter 22, verse 7. But when the king heard thereof, he was rough, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. Hmm. So, right, and that's what time we coming to. That's going into Jacob's trouble. Right. The Heavenly Father's up in this, up, up on this throne in heaven, man. He's rough. He's upset, man. Right. Because y'all y'all fan the hand in his word. Y'all mistreat his prophets, his servants, the prophets. And y'all have no respect whatsoever, man, for Yahweh Shot, his only begotten son. Like like we've been bringing up. Y'all turn the Ches Chesare boys here. Right. Y'all turn the Allah and Buddha. Y'all into Harry Krishna and all this other madness. Y'all even worship yourself, yeah. calling yourself God, <laughs> and, and that you are your own savior. But we're gonna see if you're gonna be able to save yourself from the destruction that's coming. That's right. You know, that hour of temptation is, is, is very near. Which that hour of temptation is coming, is gonna be all about the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. God. We come out here to prophesy these things. Yeah, hey, well, well, I mean, hey, all of this is that, that feast and that bread uh, that, that, that we're providing. <laughs> Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which will help to bring light out of this land of confusion, you know? Because without light, you're stuck in darkness. And, and, and uh, that, that's one of the tactics of the so-called white man is to create more and more confusion, okay? To keep you malnourished. Going back into that word there, nourished, you know? The word mal typically means bad, bad nutrition, okay? When something is bad, it, it is not healthy, you know? That's why these words are the only thing that can help us and restore us towards salvation. Oh, that's right, brother. Right. Uh, I had something here real quick. I think it's in the, the, the beginning chapter of uh, Jeremiah. You know, because you were talking about how, how our people are not going to listen. Uh, uh, oh, God. This is Jeremiah chapter 5. Uh... Well, hey, Jeremiah chapter 5 been coming out heavy this past couple of weekends. Yeah, uh, Chapter 5, uh, verse 25 says, Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set it snares. They set up a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. So, so yeah, I mean, hey, another uh, parallel in which we're drawn here is the difference between those that are poor versus those that are rich, you know? You can have riches of this world, but you're still poor in the spirit. We don't have riches in of this world, but, but, but we're rich in faith. We're rich in knowledge. We're rich in understanding. And, and that's what two thirds of our people hate, man. Okay? That's why scripture says, from, from uh, among my